In this lesson, we'll create a reference page. Before we do, though, it's helpful for students to understand what a reference page does. One way that academic writing differs from other kinds of writing is the need for writers to identify your research. In APA, we'll do so through in-text citations and the reference page. We'll get to in-text citations in a future lesson, but think about the reference page as a collection of all the sources you use to write your paper. The reader, in this case your teacher, can look at the reference page and get a sense of whether your research was thorough and credible. If necessary, he or she can even look up the sources you used and read them. There are some general guidelines for listing sources on your reference page. Your sources should be alphabetized by the author's last name, starting with A and moving to Z. If you have more than one article written by the same author, list those articles by publication date, putting the most recent at the top and moving backwards in time. If the article has no author, you'll alphabetize using the information that comes first in the reference, usually the article title or publishing organization. Now that we've gone over the basics, let's get to the actual reference page. Since we'll be adding it to the template we've been developing throughout this course, open that document now. If you can't locate your template, you can either go back to previous lessons or use the sample template provided in the supplementary materials of this tutorial. At this point, your template has two pages, the title page and the main body. We're going to add a third page, so start by placing your cursor somewhere on the main body page. Be sure you don't place it on the title page. Click on Insert and select Manual Break from the drop-down menu. In the box that appears, select Page Break. Be sure the style is set to None. Click OK. You should now be on page 3 of your template. Be sure that Line Spacing 2 is still selected and click on the Centered button. Your cursor should move to the center of your page. Type References, capitalizing the first letter, and then hit the Return key. Click on the Align Left button. Next, click on Format and choose Styles and Formatting in the drop-down menu. In the box that appears, make sure the Paragraph Styles option is selected and double-click on Hanging Indent. Alternately, you can select Hanging Indent and hit the Return key. Close the box. You should see that your cursor has jumped a little to the right. That's normal. However, you'll probably also find that your line spacing has changed to line spacing 1, and we want to change that back, so click on line spacing 2. Now we're going to enter some text so that you can see what a hanging indent looks like. Don't worry about the formatting too much. We'll get to that in the next lesson. For now, just try to type the following as closely as you can. Brophy, comma, M period B period parenthesis, 2014, parenthesis, period, APA reference page layout, period. Click the italics button, open Office Word for college students. Click the italics button again to deselect. Be sure that you don't hit return until you're finished with your entry, and that you do hit return at the end of the entry, even if you find the cursor falling naturally on a new line. Now type the same entry a second time, and hit return. You should now have two reference entries, with the first line in each entry starting a little less than half inch to the left of the lines that follow. This is called the hanging indent. The purpose of the hanging indent is to make it really easy for the reader to skim down your list of entries and find the one he or she is looking for. To demonstrate this, go ahead and change the name of the second entry from Brophy MB to Student J. As you can see, the hanging indent pushes the author names to a priority position so the reader can quickly skim down and then find the reference he or she is looking for. Now there's one more thing I want to teach you how to make the hanging indent go away when you don't want it. Students typically encounter two problems with hanging indents. They either can't figure out how to create the hanging indent, or they end up accidentally applying hanging indent formatting somewhere in their essays and find themselves with something like this. Yikes! As you can see, I've got a couple of paragraphs of text here, and OpenOffice Writer has formatted them both in hanging indent. This happens most with students who add their resources as they write their essays. If this is the way you like to work, then there's an easy way to prevent the problem. Instead of setting up hanging indentation on the page, keep your reference page formatted normally 
and type your entries with no hanging indent, making sure to hit return at the end of every reference. Then, after your essay is finished, select all your references at once, being careful not to select the references title, and click on Format. Choose Styles and Formatting from the drop-down menu. Make sure Paragraph Styles is selected, then double-click on Hanging Indent. Close the box. With your references still selected, click on Line Spacing 2. Just to be on the safe side, scroll up to the main body of your essay to be sure that nothing else has been converted to Hanging Indent. Working this way ensures that you aren't moving back and forth from normal formatting to hanging indent as you write, reducing the chances that you'll accidentally apply hanging indents in places you don't want them. But what happens if, despite your best efforts, you find yourself with hanging indents in the wrong place? Making them go away takes a few steps, but it isn't a major problem. Select everything that shouldn't be in hanging indent, but is. Now click on Format and choose Styles and Formatting from the drop-down menu. Be sure Paragraph Styles is selected in the box that appears, and double-click on Default. Close the box. Unfortunately, as you can see, while the hanging indents are gone, so is the formatting we want to keep. So with everything still selected, click on Line Spacing 2. Now put your cursor in front of the first word in each paragraph and click on the Tab key. And that's it. You now have a formatted reference page that's ready for some references. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial.